welcome to my craft room. I think this is my favorite card so far. I've got more than 50 videos on my channel now, and I love this card. This can be for a man or a woman, a kid, old, young, doesn't matter. This goes for everybody. And I think I'm going to keep this hidden for my husband because his birthday is next month and I might use that, this for his. So your, their front says, you're Johnson. And then it turns into a shadow box card when you open it. And it says, have a killer birthday. And then over here is where you're going to sign. And you can see all the different layers and everything. So they are such fun cards. Before we go, I need you to go down into the description and click on the Cricut link there. Cricut will take the base of this for this card and put it right onto your canvas and then uh, you'll be ready to go. So let's go make it. Here we are on the canvas, and if you went down in my description and you clicked on the Cricut link, Cricut put this on your canvas. Now, here is your envelope. I'll talk some more about these um, on the craft table. I'm going to move it out of our way. We need to change some colors. This one's going to stay, but these three I'll need to change to yellow. And we're going to do the really pale yellow right here. This needs to do yellow, but we can't do it the same way. When you have a score line or a pen mark on something, you've got to go into layers, highlight just the paper part, edit, and yellow. And then we're going to do the same thing. Here is your card base. And I'm going to warn you about your card base real quick. One side is shorter than the other. It is supposed to be that way, so don't let it freak you out. Okay, now it's time to get our images. So we're going to go down here. Okay, all images in Cricut start with hashtag capital M. And your water is 389D8. And then you highlight it. You see it puts it down here on add. And you see I've got all of your images on a list here. I need you to grab all of those images and get them put on your canvas. And I will meet you over there. I'm going to fast forward. Okay, now we've got all of our images. We're going to do the water last. We need a fin. <laughs> I'm going to let me move all this stuff out of our way so you can kind of see what I'm going to do here. I don't know if you've ever learned how to slice, but I'm going to teach you how to do it right now. I just needed a shark fin, and this was the only one I could find that would work for this card. So. We are going to slice out this fin. We're going to go to shapes. We are going to pick a circle. First, we've got to ungroup this guy. So we're going to go to actions. We're going to hit ungroup. We do not need this black part. I'm going to delete that. Here's what I did. I, I, I covered it just enough to grab both sides. And then you're going to highlight both of those. Drag your finger or your mouse, and then you're going to hit slice. See it right down here in the middle? Boom. And we just sliced us off a shark fin. We don't need the rest of these. Delete. And it's going the wrong way. So we're going to go in here to edit. You're going to go all the way over here to the right to the horizontal and get it pointed the right way. 
Now let's get it the right size real quick. So it's 2.75 wide, 2.75. And you're gonna have three different shades of gray. And this one, let's go ahead and change its color while we're here. We're gonna pick this super dark gray right here at the very bottom. And there is your shark fin. He is for your cover. This guy for your inside, he is three inches wide. So we're gonna go here, three inches. Okay, then you're gonna go into layer. What we're gonna do is this is gonna be that same dark gray that we just used, which is this one. This one is going to be our medium gray. Let's say this one right here. This is just to keep them all straight. This one is going to be our lightest gray right here. And I actually did this part in black. I just liked it better. It just turned it, instead of this dark gray, I did it in black and I thought it just looked much better. So there he is, he goes right here. Then your seaweed is going to be three inches high. So we're gonna go to the height this time. We're just gonna hit three inches. And its color is going to be light green. The reason the fish and the seaweed in the background are, su are such light colors is because they're in the background. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to actions. We're gonna ungroup these fish. I'm gonna do all of these fish in the exact same color, but let's, uh, but let's change their sizes first. Both of these are going to be two inches wide. And these guys, two inches, there we go. They're gonna be a little bit smaller, you see that? Now I ended up making two sets of the smaller ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, duplicate. Then we're going to select all of them. We're gonna drag our finger or our mouse. We're gonna select all of them. And then we're gonna make these this super light orange. There we go. And some of these guys are gonna go back up behind the shark. And some of these are gonna go on your signature. But first, we need to change this into the same color. And, and I forgot that these both weren't blue. I'm so used to them being the same. But we have a yellow circle. And remember, before you start cutting stuff out, delete this, because this is actually what's cut out of here. The water is gonna stay the same. I kept it at the uh, bright blue and the light blue. We need four different sizes. So we're gonna duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. We're gonna, okay, your first one is going to be your two big ones and they're gonna be 4.2. So first, oh, we've almost got it exactly right. 4.2 and we need two. So we're gonna duplicate that. One of those goes here and one of them goes over here. The next size is going to be 2.5 wide. These are gonna all going to be one. Okay, and we need two of those also. So we're gonna go to actions and duplicate. Then you are going to do one at 3.5 wide, 3.5. There we go, and this guy goes here. And then you need one last one at two inches wide. There we go, just like that. And that goes on your signature. Okay, now we need to do our writing, and that's the only thing we've got left to do. So you're gonna open up a text box. Let me bring this down here where we can see better. And you are going to do your, my O U R E. And we're gonna do these in two separate boxes because I want them to be closer than what it's gonna give us. So then we're gonna do another text box and do the Jossum. This, we're gonna to go to edit and we are going to change to this awesome font, but for some reason it likes to squish everything together. So we are gonna go back into edit and you see this letter space right here? I am going to hit plus until I like it, right there, okay? Same with this guy, letter space. Oh, hold on, I can't see what I'm doing. Letter space, plus, 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 oh, there you go, just about that. And then I'm gonna put this pretty close up underneath. First, I need to find out where the middle is, hold on. 
There you go. There's the middle. Then I'm going to highlight them and group. Okay, now that you've got this, in my original one I have at two inches wide, but I don't know if that's going to work. All of this depends on how many times that you push that make your letters wider button. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to bring mine just a little bit smaller, maybe 1.75. There we go, just like that. And I am going to make him the exact same distance to the front and the side about a quarter inch. And just eyeball, it doesn't have to be perfect. We've got to ungroup this. If you grouped yours, I did just to make it easier. First, we need to change this pen. Really, you could leave it black and stick whatever pen that you want in there. So let's go here, let's go here. I am going to change it to this blue. It doesn't really matter. I just want to make sure they all match. And now you're going to drag your finger or your mouse and you're going to grab both of those and you're going to hit attach. Okay, now on this one, I need a frame around it so it will set it off because you can't put the yellow on top of the yellow. I'm just going to move these out of the way for just a minute. Then I'm going to go to edit and hit offset. Okay, but I want it squared off. There we go. And I just want a small one. Yeah, that looks about right. I've got it at 0.163, but you can choose. Okay, and then done. Okay, there we go. Let's change the color on this. We're going to change it to the dark blue. We need to change the size real quick. It's This one is going to be 4.5. And we're going to have to unlock this because this side is going to be 6.5. There we go. Now, this one is going to be a little tiny bit different. It's not going to be any harder. Okay. So, we need another text box. Then we are going to do have no cap A, cap killer. There we go. And then another one. Then we want capital B-I-R-T-H-D-A-Y exclamation point. There we go. And we're going to do the same font. There we go. And we're going to do it the same way as we did before. We are going to spread these out a little bit so they're easier to read, easier to make. Okay, there we go. I'm going to do it probably one more time. There, I like it. We're going to put these pretty close to each other. Let me move this out of the way. And that looks about right. Let's make sure that we've got them in the middle. Right there. There we go. We're going to group them. And I have it at 1.7 wide. Okay, so now we've got our words. Let's change the color to match our other pen. I think I use this. Your edge is that score line right there. So I'm gonna kinda do basically what I did before, about a quarter inch right there. Then you're gonna drag across and hit attach. And look at that. There's your writing. You've got your all your card ready to cut. Go ahead and cut everything out and let me give you, let me ask you a couple of favors. I need you to glue your big shark together. I need you to glue all of your water together before we get over to the craft table and that way everything will go by really fast. So go ahead, cut all this out. Get your, get your water and your shark glued together and I'll meet you over at the craft table and we'll get it all put together. Here we are at the craft table. As you can see, I have used it a lot. I love this card. I just think it's the cutest thing. First, as you can see, I use paper plates to organize all my stuff. It's just easier for me. I use art glitter glue. Uh, I buy it with um, this big refill and a little and this and this really tiny tip. Um, a little bit goes a long way. I bought a ream of larger copy paper. This card is a five by seven card. Um, this is just 12 by 18 copy paper. 
All of that stuff is down in my description. Here are just regular five by seven envelopes, five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. Um, I got these at Hobby Lobby. I waited till they were half off, so I got 50 for $3.50. So if you wanna do mainly five by seven cards, this works too. Okay, so let's do our cover first. First, this is gonna be your background. This is gonna have about an eighth of an inch all the way around. So let's go ahead and attach this. This is going to be your cover in front of your card. Again, an eighth of an inch all the way around. It doesn't have to be perfect by any means. And our funny fin. You're gonna use one of your largest and your medium size waves on your cover. I put the card together before I did the canvas part, so I fixed yours. So mine's gonna be a little bit different than yours, but you're gonna use one of the larger and one of the mediums. I just love this yellow and blue together, isn't it cool? Okay, we're gonna put this one pretty far down. Now, the cards are so busy inside, and you can see, look, I'm gonna show you what I do when I make a mistake. This is how it's supposed to be. And this is how I made the very first one. But I didn't re remake it because I knew I was gonna put this right on top. So sometimes when you make mistakes, you can fix them easily. Okay, this is going to tuck here. I, I know this is where I want it. I don't wanna pick it up and try to get it in the right spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little tiny bit of glue under there and get, up. Uh, and get my fin glued, and then I'm gonna get this wave glued. Just gonna stick a little bit of glue under there. So I'm gonna hold this side down, I'm gonna pull this up, and then I'm going to glue this whole thing in, okay? And then we're gonna go in and do the curly cue on the wave. There we go. This one, I know exactly where it's going, and it isn't as crucial, so I will pick it up and put the glue on this time. And there, look, you've already got your cover done. There we go, look at that. Boom, done. Isn't that a fun cover? We're gonna set this aside and let it dry. Again, you're gonna have two rectangles. One is going to be about a quarter of an inch wider than the other. We want the skinnier one. Set this one aside. This is going to be your background for your shark. Let's lay it out so we kinda of know exactly what we're doing. If you'll put your shark about right here, Okay, here it is, right in the middle, see? But we're gonna pop dot him. I don't know if you've ever used pop dots. There are these little things, they're foam with sticky on either side. So, so then he's gonna stick up. But first, we need his background, a background for him so, it, so we know that he's actually swimming in the ocean. I'm gonna get the, um, kind of the spacing here. So there we go, we kinda know where we want these guys to be. So we're gonna take away the shark and let's get these guys glued on. None of this has to be exact because again, this is the background. So we are gonna put one about right here. This shorter one, glue on this little guy too. This is why I don't have you Watch me put all these little bitty things together, like the shark and, and the water that I asked you to do. Because who wants to sit here and watch me put together little bitty things? There we go, just like that. And then let's get us some fish in the background here. And the rest of these we're gonna use over on the signature page. So I'm gonna put this guy right here. So I kind of have an idea of where I want them because we want them in the background. Now, you've got some smaller fish that in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy right here. There you go, just like that. Now, if you don't have pop dots, you can glue a bunch of pieces of cardstock together. You can, um, this is just foam and uh, with, with sticky on it. So if you've got some kids craft foam, you know, that kids make stuff out of, you can just glue pieces of that on the back. There's lots of different things that you can choose. Okay, I'm gonna put two right here, 
peel off of these to get, to get the other um, sticky part. There we go. Now, I'm going to put my guy right here. I'm going to make sure I've got him right in the middle of my score lines, just so I know where I'm at here. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. And I'm going to put him right in the middle. Just like that. Because remember, you got waves coming down here. There we go. Just like that. So see how he's 3D? Let me show you. You see how he pops up off the paper? Let's get the main part of our card done. We are. This is going to go so fast, you're not going to believe it. This is our signature page. We'll do that here in a minute. Now, when we're on the canvas, I told you one side of this is going to be shorter than the other. Has to be that way for it to fold down and be right. Okay, so it's there's nothing wrong with that. You did the right thing. Okay, let's get our shadow box put in. Now, we need to fold all these. Okay, and just go slow. It's easier for me to start them one way and then make them go back. All of these are all going to be towards the back. And then we're going to do both of these also. And then this smaller one, actually, I'm going to go this way on this smaller one. It doesn't matter how they're bent, just so long as they are bent. And then this one is going to go all the way over, just like that. Come back here to your one your one side and straighten it back out again. Then we're gonna put glue on the front of this whole section, okay, on the front, remember? So you're gonna go like this, uh, get it as close to the fold as you can get it. I'm sorry, I'm gonna switch this around. The short side should be on your right, long side on your left. You are gonna glue this right next to your score line. Okay, you're gonna get it as close as you can possibly get to your score line. Okay, right there. So then as soon as you do that, then you wanna bend this this right here. And make, there you go, look at that. You already got your shadow box um, thing going on. Okay, so now let's figure out where we're gonna put our shark. Okay, so like I said, You've got a lot of room to move this guy around, you know. And if you have to move him way down here, you just trim it off, okay? Because you're not going to see. So right now, I'm going to put this about right in the middle, okay? And then let's put our other thing. Now, you got to bring your the front of your card up too because, there, just like that. Now, decide where you want your sharky guy and let's get him glued in. Okay, I'm gonna pick mine up cause, so I can see it. I can't see it from where I'm at. I'm gonna get him all lined up right there. Okay, once you figure it out, I'm gonna make him straight. So what I'm gonna do is just like we did before, I'm gonna sneak one little piece of glue back here and one little piece of glue back here, okay? That way it's easy to take off, it's easy to move if I need to. And now I'm going to check where my, now this, once we get it done, you're going to have about uh, a sixteenth of an inch along here, uh, left over of your car. So let me see. I like it. I think he's right in the right spot. First, it's too long. So I'm going to cut it off. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay. And then I'm going to get this whole side glued on. So you're just going to go here, you're going to do this right here, put glue all over it, just like we did the other side. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. As soon as you get to where you've got it straight and everything, you see this little, you got a little tiny bitty lip right there, then you want to fold it and close it. Make sure that everything folds and closes where it's supposed to go. And look at that. You've already got a shadow box. Look how good you're doing. Let's do our water. Yours is going to be a little bit different than mine. I always put everything together on the craft table before I film the whole putting it together on the canvas for you guys, because this is where I find out whether I made a mistake or not. And on this one, I made this too long, but I will have fixed it by the time that we 
that you get on here. So you can you can turn this flat over here if you want. So this guy's gonna go right up here and mine is gonna be a little bit different because I had to cut some off. I've got this one where I want it. I am going to go right up under here and do the same thing as I always do. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here so I know it's gonna stay exactly where I want it. Make sure it's not gonna get hung up on his things because once we do it, you won't have that problem anymore. Okay, now I'm gonna go up under and glue all mine together. Hang on the thing and where it wasn't. Okay, look at that. This guy is gonna go right here and this guy is gonna kinda go and, and hide that seam where those two come together, right right over here. You mess up and instead you uh, you get glue under here, just let, make sure that you let it sit, okay? That's all I'm asking, for you to just let it sit overnight. Okay, I'm gonna put this pretty close. It's only overlapping this about an eighth of an inch. I will come back and glue all of these down once I have everything where I want it. Um, this one, you should be able to glue the whole thing because it won't be hanging out over the window. And you see where these two have a seam right here? I kind of want to cover up that seam. Okay. There, just like that. Do you see that? Okay, I'm going to smush it down, but I'm not going to leave it down because there's probably wet glue. Now... I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna do a couple little dots of glue here and there. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna smoosh them down real good. And look at that. <laughs> look what a great job you're doing. Okay, let's do your signature page. This is for you to sign. Now, let's go ahead and do your circle. What I did was, here is your circle. It's kind of going to kind of go like this. I made this corner kind of meet this corner. Okay, do you see that? And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue up under here. Okay, now we're just going to um, cut off the corner so it follows the curve of the circle. So first, let's put this one down. This, again, is going to go eh, a little smaller than quarter of an inch, probably. up oh, farther down. It's a little um, wider at the bottom and top than it is because it's a signature page. Now, we're going to try to kind of match this. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I kind of want it to look like they're basically the same right there. Okay. go let's put a few little fish I'm probably gonna put one big a couple small not a lot now here's your choice do you want to put fish over here which I do because I want to balance out the wave to the left and designers say do everything in odd numbers so you will see me doing a lot of threes a lot of fives and done look at that look how cute you have done look at look it's such a cute card. I think this is going to be one of my favorites. Now, the only thing we got left to do, put your cover on. And since you already made it, now it's going to make it quick and easy, isn't it? Mm, I just got some glue on the front. And um, I hope you like this card. I think it's adorable. And like I said, I usually make the covers a little more plain graphic stuff because the inside's busy. You don't want a busy outside and a busy inside. Okay, now, this is gonna go about a quarter inch all the way around. And you're done. Look at that, look at this cute card you just made. You're awesome. Have a killer birthday. You're done. Look what a great job you did. I'm so proud of you.